representing Liam Monaghan. I'm originally born in Peck I was originally born in London, South London, Peckham to be precise. And um, all my life, I grew up with a whole bunch of crazies, maniac maniacs, and Christ knows what else that would drive anything with four wheels and a steering wheel. Uh, Catford dogs, S you know, we would go to places, drag cars that were more falling apart than were performance. And that's what this YouTube channel is about. This YouTube channel is called Overload Automotive and we're solely about just that. We're solely about automotive. Now behind me is my single car garage. My personal car garage. Now you'll notice that there's no car in here. There was at one point a 68 Mustang in here. There was at one point a 58 Ford pickup in here. There was at one point an 86 Bronco in here. But the way the, the current economy is gone, I had to sell those vehicles to make ends meet. Now I live in the state of Utah. I immigrated to the states about 10, maybe 12-ish years ago. And I have other YouTube channels as well, mostly dealing with outdoors, airsoft, paintball, uh, some dealing with uh, 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 more vloggy things, you know, my point of views are on, you know, this, that, and the other. And then there's this channel. Now, this channel is dedicated solely to three things. Everything automotive, everything that the everyday man like myself can do to his, his or her vehicle without the need of expensive tools and expensive equipment. But I can't start this channel. I can't get this channel started and rolling without your help and your support. Now, I'm not asking for money. I'm asking for you to send this channel, share, share it with your friends who are gearheads, who are nutcases and everything else. And from there, everything else will follow. I have interviews with car designers like Bohuth, set in stone that I will ask him all the important questions you need to, like what got him started, what's his current projects, things of that nature. Also, we'll be doing two projects a season, each season being a minimum of 12 episodes to a maximum of 24, kind of like a regular TV show, kind of like uh, 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 overhauling, things like that. Now, I'm basing my channel along the lines of other channels very similar to mine, kind of like uh, off the top of my head, Hot Rod Magazine with their Roadkill series with uh, Finnegan and Freiburger, two of my all-time heroes. But unlike Finnegan and Freiburger, this channel won't have Hot Rod Magazine's money behind it. It will have my money behind it. It will have your money behind it. Every time you watch one of my videos with ad blocker turned off, and I get a percentage uh, of the AdSense revenue, that goes into the show. Behind me, you see no power tools. You see no belt sanders, no, no welding machines, no nothing. There is absolutely nothing behind me because I plan on buying secondhand tools. I plan on buying off-brand tools from a well-known company that tend to sell tools that break pretty easy. And if a sponsor does come along, I will let you guys know. I will be honest with you. I will say, okay, this tool from Snap-on is better than this tool from Craftman. You know, I will be honest and upfront with you. Now, I'm not the only one that's involved in this channel. I actually have other crazy car guys with me. One of them's a hardcore Chevy fan. I could be considered a hardcore Ford fan. I have owned Chevys and Dodges in the past. My current vehicle is an Expedition. Uh, not an Expedition, Excursion, sorry. And she has some mechanical issues. I will be filming those issues, replacing the parts that need to be replaced on film. No power tools, just me. I don't even have an air compressor, so I don't have air tools. I just have a cheap socket set I got at my local fa at my local family dollar, a can of WD-40, a can of 3-in-1 oil, and some sheer determination. Now, all I ask is that you please share this channel 
with your friends. That's all I ask. I'm not asking for donations. I'm not asking for handouts. I'm just asking for your support. Now, let me go into a little bit more further information about the show. We plan on taking a project vehicle from a junkyard or that we find on Craigslist or that we find on a local classifieds. You know what ones I'm talking about. The projects that you see parked in someone's backyard that's been there for 10 plus years and you finally just say, bleep it, I'm gonna go get it. So you knock on the guy's door and you say, will you please sell me that car? It's been sitting in your backyard, turned into a wasp's nest, a freaking box elder bugs, whatever, you know. And, and the guy says, fine, and you buy it. And you've got that project. And she's sitting in your garage. She's not rusting out in the sun anymore. She's now rusting in your garage because you don't have the money, the skill, the know-how, or anything of all of that above. Well, that's where we come in. Our show is dedicated about picking up a project vehicle even if it's your project vehicle and you want it done, don't be afraid to contact us. We will pick a project vehicle. We will restore it for you. And when we're done with the project vehicle, we will give it right back to you. Body, paint, interior, engine, drivetrain, all of it. Now, we are currently doing somewhat of a special promotion for all you servicemen and service women, regardless of nation, British, American, it doesn't matter. The only rules is you have to be in the continental United States. So Alaska, Puerto Rico, and Hawaii, you're kind of SOL. You could be in Lubbock, Texas. You could be in Brooklyn, New York. You qualify. As long as we can drive to you to pick up your project vehicle and drive back here to the state of Utah. This is where we're formed, this is where we're based. We're currently in talks with a person who owns an actual shop. So your vehicle may, not, may get actually done here, it may get done in a professional shop, we don't know. But we have a qualified team of five to six crazy maniacs. Some of them are ex-servicemen. I'm an ex-serviceman. And the first project vehicle, we already have been given our first project vehicle, and it's a Buick Riviera and we plan to restore this Buick Riviera and give it back to this serviceman. He's a former serviceman from Vietnam. And we plan on restoring his Buick Riviera for him inside and out. But we can't do it without your help. In the next following videos that you're gonna be seeing coming up on this channel soon, you'll get to meet the person who owns the vehicle You'll get to meet some of the crazy mechanics that plan on working on the vehicle, and you'll get to meet some of our ideas, our crazy antics, what we want to do, this, that, the, other, the whole shebang. This camera, plus many other cameras, fingers crossed, when we get them, will be rigged in this shop. We'll even be trying to rig up a 24-hour webcam, so if you guys want to see us wrenching into the wee hours of the morning, you can. But bear in mind, we're just regular Joes. None of us have all these expertise in this, that, and the other. We're just regular Joes working on a regular Joes car with the good intention of restoring classic American muscles. If you're working for imports, I'm sorry, you won't find them here. No Nissans, no Toyotas, none of that. No Scions, none of that. If you want rice grinders, if you want imports, there's various other YouTube channels out there that are dedicated just to imports. Mighty Car Mods is one of them that comes to mind. Um, if you want mechanical information on imports, uh, Scotty Kelmer is a good one. Uh, Eric the Car Guy is another good one. Scanner Danner, he's another good one on YouTube. Again, we're going to be YouTube only. So if, you're, if you work in the television business and you think this is a great idea, you want to see it on your network, Sorry guys, we're going to be strictly YouTube, plain and simple. Not that we don't want the exposure, we do. But what I'm trying to explain to you guys is this project, Project, project Overload Automotive, is all about one thing. Taking classic American muscle and bringing it back on the roads instead of rusting in a junkyard. And I'm not talking about quarter mile dragsters, cars that can only go in one line straight. 
We're talking about performance enhancements, breaks, sway bars, bushings. We're talking about everyday simple installs that you can do to your classic car that will increase your ride's performance, handling, and safety. Of course, we will have a project shop vehicle which we will take to various car shows like SEMA if we can get the support and that's where you guys come in. All we ask is that you just share this channel, share the videos, and please turn off any ad blocking software you have. That's all we ask. If you want to donate, that's fine. There'll be PayPal information down below. If you have a project vehicle that you wish to donate to the channel, again, there'll be contact information down below. That's all we ask. And there's one of the crazy monkeys coming right now, mate. But most importantly, please, just share this video. That's all we ask. It's all I ask. It's all what, all what Overload Automotive asks. To share this channel with your friends, your families, even your rivals and your trolls. It's all we ask. I thank you for your time. I thank you for watching this video. And as always, please be safe, drive safe, and follow the rules.